Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw an ancient Mayan. I take two fingers over here in the middle on the left and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curve line up and a little curve line over. Come back to the dot and I'm going to draw a curve line down, curve a uh, straight line, curve line in and up. Come back down here over on the left and we're just going to draw a little curve line down. Right where I stop we're going to draw another slightly straight line. Come back over here to the left we're going to draw a little curve line in, little curve line down, slightly curve line out, and leave it floating. I come back up here to the top and I'm going to draw a straight line, curve line, straight line down. I'm going to hook this one right next to it so I start with a curve line, straight line down, curve line, straight line down. Right where I stop, I'm going to draw a curve line up, in, out, in, big curve line in, and leave it floating. Now I come back down here on the bottom towards the left, and I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down, little curve line, straight diagonal up, connect. Starting on the left hand side, I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, coming up, curve line, curve line. I come back on the inside and I'm going to draw a little curve line connect, little curve line connect, little curve line connect, little curve line connect little curve line connect and you'll notice we're doing a lot of repeating lines and patterns. Coming back to the left, straight diagonal out, straight diagonal in, connect. If you have room, straight diagonal out, in, connect, straight diagonal out, in, connect, straight diagonal out, in, connect. Okay. Now I'm going to come back inside this space and I'm just going to draw a curve line, curve line, connect, and I'm just going to put a little curve line and leave that floating. Okay. Now I come back over here to this line and I'm going to bring it down, slightly curved line, about halfway right there. Right where I stop, I draw a curve line down, up, connect and now I'm going to draw a bigger curve line all the way down, up, connect. I come inside the first one and I'm going to draw curve line connect. I come in the second bigger one and draw another curve line connect. Okay. Now I come back to the top and I draw a curve line connect curve line connect curve line connect inside little curve line connect little curve line connect little curve line connect now I come back over here to this side and starting right there I put a dot and I'm going to draw a curve line slightly curved line up in in a spiral I come back to this side and I draw a slightly curved line connect. I come over to the opposite or jump over to that side and I draw a curved line down. Come back here, curved line down, curved line down, curved line down, curved line down. I come back to the top and I connect slightly curved line, slightly curved line, slightly curved line, slightly curved line. I could probably fit one more in here so I'm just going to draw another little curved line down. 
Now at the ends, curve line connect, curve line connect, curve line connect, curve line connect, curve line connect. Come back to the top, little curve line connect, little curve line connect, little curve line connect, little curve line connect, little curve line connect. Okay, I come back up here to this section and I'm going to mimic the lines. Curve line, curve line, curve line connect. Okay, I think that's all. You can tell there's a lot going on here and what's even more interesting is that they did a lot of this carved into stone. Alright, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, these were highly painted they're called polychrome colors and it's red, blue, green, and yellow. Those are the colors you would find in nature. So I'm going to start off with a light brown and it's almost like a sandstone and I'm going to color my face and the inside part of my jewelry so that I know this is the main part of my Mayan. Okay, so this is all a light brown. Then I'm going to color this section also light brown because this section is part of his headdress. And we want that all to kind of come together. And like I said before, some of these were murals that they painted and some of these were actually carved into um, stone. Alright, next color they used was yellow. I'm going to do yellow up here. I'm going to do this little space yellow. Okay, now I'm going to move into red, which was a very impactful color. So I'm going to do these little sections up at the top. I'm going to do this section inside. Now you can put your color combinations any way you want. This is just mine. I did this section of his earring red. And I came down and did my spikes red also. Okay. Then I got green because they used a lot of green and I did the outside of this section green. You know a lot of this represented parrot or uh, Quetzalcoatl feathers, beautifully colored feathers from the jungle birds. So I did that green and this section green. Then I got my turquoise. I did my upper part of my earring turquoise and this part of my headdress turquoise also. Yes. Okay. Alright. Then I took my brown and I colored the inside little sections brown. This I colored in brown. It's a darker brown than the lighter brown I used. This little section I did brown also. And I'm now going to use this to draw a brown line. I'm going to do this section dark brown. My eyebrow. I'm going to redraw the lines I just drew with the darker brown just so they pop a little bit. Come down and just do all the lines you did brown. And now over on this section right here I'm just going to draw a couple of curved lines brown just to define them a little bit better. And I'm going to come up and put some brown lines over my yellow, double color, and on my spiral. Okay? You will do a much better job than I am right now. Okay? I think that's all. Let's see what it looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my ancient Mayan all colored in. As you can tell, they had a very stylized 
way of creating creating their art and also very colorful. Okay, bye bye.